In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called solving a quadratic equation by completing the square exact answers. We're asked to solve the quadratic equation by completing the square. And to complete the square, the first step that I should do is to take the constant term here of the quadratic on the left hand side and move that over to the other side of the equation. Canceling on the left, I now have x squared minus 14x equals a negative 35. And now on the left hand side, I can complete the square by finding the value of the constant term that would make the left hand side a perfect square. And I can do that by looking at the middle term here, 14. And to make this a perfect square, I would want to take half of 14 and square it. And since half of 14 is 7 squared, we would have 49. For the left hand side to be a perfect square, this should be plus a 49. And the only way that I can randomly add 49 to the left hand side is if I also add 49 to the right hand side. And doing so now gives me a perfect square on the left hand side. This would factor to x minus 7 quantity squared. And the right hand side minus 35 plus 49 equals 14. So I can see that I have the form x minus 7 equals 14. Notice here that the minus is because the middle term of the quadratic I completed the square on was negative. But now I can use the square root property to find the solution by taking the square root of both sides. This cancels the square on the left hand side, leaving me with either a positive or negative x minus 7 equals the square root of 14. And since the left hand side is what I'm solving for to find x, I can apply the plus or minus to the right hand side. And then to solve for x on the left, I would add the 7 over. So we've isolated the x and it would be a 7 plus or minus the square root of 14. Writing this with commas, I would have two solutions, 7 plus the square root of 14 and 7 minus the square root of 14.